Welcome back everybody to the association. In today's video we're going to be setting up a two-tone uh, floor arrangement here uh, in this particular uh, open floor plan. So when we're talking about uh, open floor plans we're basically uh, looking at uh, dining areas, living areas, the family area as opposed to you know dining rooms, living rooms, etc. So just wanted to make that you know clear and, and clarify the difference between the open floor plan and just a typical room like a bedroom which we're going to be doing next week so if you want to uh, do what we're doing here um, this is just for the open floor plan so we're going to be doing uh, showing how to do rooms in the next next couple weeks so anyway we're going to go into our preferences here i think it's control alt m and we're going to reduce our wall thickness all the way down to probably one eighth or however far it will let you go down the wall height doesn't really matter, but the the, the wall thickness we want to reduce that uh, is is all the way as thin as possible. Okay, and then we're going to uh, uncheck the uh, floor box there. There we go, and we'll tap OK. So with that out of the way, we're going to uh, click on the room and we're going to just scoot this. This is the original room, which we're not going to use right now. We're going to scoot that away from our work area. All right, now with that out of the way, we can continue. So with with our project, we want to have we have two room two areas here: the the traffic area, the walkways, and then the living room or living area and dining area. So those are the two, you know, floors they're going to be treated here because that's that's what's here okay so anyway let's begin let's draw walls and just you know just to clarify here you don't have to have these walls here okay you don't have to have these walls to do this that was just there originally and we're gonna work around those walls you don't have to have those there let's go ahead and finish the walls here and we'll move on to the next step Okay, so with that done, we're going to click on the room, just like you're creating a room. So we'll do the top, we'll do the bottom, and we're good to go. Now, the walls that we just drew, that we just created, we're going to delete them. Let's go through this. We'll, uh, we won't show everything here, because that's going to be uh, rather boring, but we'll go ahead and uh, start delete some of these walls here. Alright, so the next step we want to do is we want to click on one of the rooms, either the upper one or the, the lower, and you want to seat it to the other room. So you're just going to take the point just like that, and you're looking for a dot if possible. So we're going to do this one. Yep, and we're getting dots. Okay, so that means we're seated to the other, to the other room, so you don't have like a gap uh, from one area to the other. Okay, so here we go. And we'll do this one here and now we're going to add uh we're going to do powder blue carpeting in the dining area and the living area and then marble through the uh, on the walkways so as you can see now the marble has gone up into the carpeting area into the dining area so to fix that you can see it's kind of hiding there uh, if we just click on the marble and then we're going to create a point in the room let's create point and then we can put that anywhere we want. So for us, we need to put it right where it bends there, the corner. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now the hard part's pretty much done here. So I'm going to click on the spaces that we just created. And we need to delete uh, the ceiling. Because we don't want the ceiling uh, just because it's, it's not a solid ceiling all the way through. Okay, and we're going to use our, our old ceiling that we had originally. So we're gonna uncheck that box. I'm gonna go through and just click every part of the uh, every part of the uh, the floor here, and we'll check on each part. So there we go. Click OK, and we're gonna bring our old uh, buddy back here, the the original ceiling. We'll bring that back, and we just want to make sure the floor is not checked. We don't want the old floor. We're done with the old floor, and if you're if you're starting a new project here. Then I'm going to, here, hold on a second, we're going to, yeah. 
and it would look like that. It would just be blank, there would be no texture there. Uh, doesn't matter if you had texture or not, but you don't have you don't want to have that floor uh, checked. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, hop out of there. We do want to have the ceiling because that's what we're going to use. And we're just going to slide that back. Now if you do want to change the color or the texture in the future, you would have to remove one of these and then you can proceed with changing the uh, texture there. But there's the uh, before. It's a really cool project too. Can't wait to, to work on this. It'll be a while. Uh, and there is the after with the, the marble and the powder blue carpet. So it looks, looks awesome. And we did that maybe in 15 minutes in real time. So anyway, that's going to be it with the video. Uh, leave a like if, you, uh, if you're if you happy with it. And if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, drop them down below in the comments. That'd be awesome. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, all that jazz. We'd love to have you on board uh, with the association. And with that, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, hopefully with the, uh, the room tutorial, uh, putting a, uh, a fringe uh, around the floor in bedrooms and, and things like that. So with that, See you in the next one. Signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody.